Good morning. Autumn is the main fungi season, of course. In the New Forest, about 2,700 different species of fungi have been recorded, some quite rare. Whilst some of these are edible, please don't pick them. Leave them in the forest where they belong. One that arouses a lot of interest is the Devil's Fingers, otherwise known as the Octopus Stinkhorn. This is a native species of the Southern Hemisphere, particularly Australia and New Zealand, but also South Africa. So how did it come to the New Forest? Devil's Fingers were first found in Europe in 1914 and was thought to have been introduced in various war supplies from Australia and New Zealand, possibly in wool. Devil's Fingers were first recorded in the UK in Cornwall in 1946 and first found in the New Forest in the year 2000. They're now found in locations across the forest, but they're still quite rare. They first appear as what looks like golf ball sized eggs. When conditions are favourable, the egg ruptures, allowing the red tentacles to emerge and form a star shape. The tentacles are covered in an evil smelling slime called gleba. This emits a pungent, rotting odour which attracts insects. The slime contains spores which stick to the insects who then disperse the spores in the area. Some of these spores will develop into new Devil's Fingers fungi next year. That's the story of the Devil's Fingers fungi. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please subscribe to see more videos all about living in the new forest. Thanks for watching.